for the WBC Featherweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM National Harbor, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner. He is tonight's challenger, wearing black trunks with white trim. Fighting out of Gilroy, California by Ivage Colombia. His weight, 125 and three quarter pounds. His record stands at 25 wins, two losses, with 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the interim WBC featherweight champion, introducing Oscar El Guerrero Escandón. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with the gold trim, hailing from Capitol Heights, Maryland. He weighed in at 125 and one half pounds with a record of 27 wins and one loss. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the second defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning and the defending WBC featherweight champion of the world, introducing Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Once again, our referee in charge, now the instructions, Harvey Dock. Okay, guys, we went over the instructions earlier. Remember, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, talk a little squante, sprint and sweat, good luck. Good. All right, so Gary Russell did the tap to the body and didn't even look at Escondón. Huh? Stool. I used it in the last one, the stool. Well, it's nice when you've been a pro since 2009, and now eight years later, you're into the championship mode, and these are the potential sweet times for Gary Russell Jr., which Escondón will try to derail. Escondón did his best work at 122 pounds, and now he's up at 126. In fact, uh, 135 Get off after he weighed in tonight. Made the weight at 125 and three quarters yesterday. He came up nine. Russell came up five. Russell, a good body puncher, and in his last two fights, showing good two-fisted power and combinations to take out his opponents. Keep him up, Gary. Right uppercut and hook was Russell. Yeah, by Russell, the uppercut. Looping right hook by Russell. Nice uppercut by Russell again. So for the first two minutes, it's Escondón trying to get close, but it's Russell determining the distance of where this fight occurs. Left hand here by Russell. Good two shots by Russell. Nice combination by Russell. 
Van Dome keeps coming for more. He tries to work the body himself. Good uppercut by Russell again. Quick, quick. That's the holding. Gary Russell dodges one and then lands one, even though it wasn't to the head, and then those two were to the head. So he kept his posture, and the patience was rewarded. Second round action. Gary Russell Jr., Oscar Escondone. Russell defending his 126 pound belt. Good body shots from Russell. Escondone, the smaller fighter, standing straight up, so that doesn't really want to be that kind of a target. Body, but Russell getting there with his uppercuts. Hands are free, hands are free. Stop, stop, stop. Stay off the head. Condone trying to get through the jab hand. And Russell trying to let him get close enough so that he could drill him on the way in. That's Russell's inside strategy. Get off his head, Gary. Stop! He wants to go outside. He can try to keep his opponent on the end of his jab. Keep him up. Keep him up. Cuts then a right hook. Nice right hook to the body by Russell. Right hand by Escondone. So round two, coming to a close. Huh? Yep. What you see? We go 
Kelvin. We knew he was going to keep coming. You supposed to have fun with that shit. See, have fun with it, baby. Right, keep my hands tight. You got to. Oh, wow, water, water. Hey, hey, ponle ya presión. Ok, no lo dejes. Que es todo. Con las dos manos. La casita. No te esperes. Tell him got to put pressure on. Don't wait to tell him. I think I have a different view of the fight than he does. Into round three. Gary Russell Jr. Oscar Escondón. Keep him up, keep him up. Good right hook, and that's a knockdown. Wow. Russell caught Escondone coming in, and Escondone is in trouble. There's a lot of time that can be filled here. Russell nailed him with a right hook, and then the gloves touched the canvas. Now, Russell, when he gets opponents like this, is a good finisher. Good right hook by Russell again. Escondone should be trying to tie him up, but he's not. And he takes two more as he backs up. Russell trying to unload the big shots and maintain his posture. Just missed with a big right hook and fell himself. As Condone just bought 10 precious seconds of a break. Right hook by Russell. Making a bid to close the show. And Escondone is complying with that by coming forward. Russell tags him three times. Nice left hand by Russell. Still time for Russell in this round. As that knockdown occurred early. Good body shot by Russell, but Harvey Dodd says, not good enough. Nice uppercut by Russell. Credit has been able to stay in this long after he looked quite hurt from that knockdown. Good flurry by Russell. And again, he gets to Escondor. Steps on his foot for good measure. Question in the corner is if Escondone has another round like this, have some decisions to make about him staying in this fight. One corner for Escondone, that could be a signal. Hey, how's it going, Here's where Russell put him to the canvas, a sweet right hook, and then the gloves touch. Any, any part other than your shoes on the canvas, and it's a knockdown. Good, strong left hand as he kept on with the power shots. Right hook by Russell, even though he's backing up, and then he darts at Escondon. The Russell show continues here. Look at the leverage, look at the power generating through the hips. Doctors are in right above us. We've got some ice thrown on us. They're doing everything in the corner there. So that one minute for Escondone was gold. Time, time, time. Time, okay, Gary. And around four we go, Gary Russell Jr. And Oscar Escondone, they will allow the corner the doctor to clean up so much water thrown 
in that area. Now it's very slippery. Very unsafe. Time in. Box. And how much extra time did that buy as Condone? Another minute. Keep up, Gary. Keep him up. Be sure. Well, if you can do it and get away with it, you do it. section where there's ice in the ring. It's not where they're fighting, but it's behind the ropes. So Russell with an explosive third round. And Escondo, his corner, cajoling a two-minute break. Condone walking right into the path of trouble. Russell with a right hook that scores. He's methodical in his attack here. to the body from Escondon. For Escondon, forget about trying to look pretty in this round. It's a matter of can he extend it and recuperate. So he's come right, he's come lefty, he's looking out. Brad, punch it low. Keep him up, both of you. Good work from Russell. has been trying to smother Russell. They're not doing quite as much this round after an explosive round three. Condone, double jab, right hand. Trying to smother Gary Russell Jr. Does a good job here putting some work in there. And we go into round five. Gary Russell Jr. and Oscar Escondon. Russell defending his 126 pound title at the MGM National Harbor. I'm Dave Bontempo, glad you're with us. Russell had a knockdown in round three. Nearly closed it as Condone able to rally in round four. Quick, stop, 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 stop. And this time it's Russell warned about the keeping his hands up. Escondone is getting some 
to the ground on the inside. Getting close enough to try to launch his attack. Now he's trying to intimidate Gary Russell Jr., which is not going good. But it shows that his optimism has returned. As far as judging his demeanor. Meantime, Russell with a rapid fire volley of the body shots. That's Gondolas trying to pursue Russell, who's happy to sit back along the ropes. Try to get Escondon coming in. So some rapid fire shots by Escondon. They don't get in. And then Russell the uppercuts on the inside. Good work again by Russell. You're fine, they're telling you, but you must be more aggressive. You have to go down, then come on top. And it was Gary Russell Jr. doing a lot of good work in this sequence from the last round. Landed the right hook, kept the pressure on in front, and fought where he wanted to have the fight waged. Let's go. Into round six we go. Russell Jr. is 27 and 1, 16 knockouts. As Condone, 25 and 2, 17 knockouts. Both losses by split decision. He was nearly knocked out for the first time when Russell dropped him in round three. on the outside up, trying up, to dictate up. much. Russell has been content to fight in tight. With his 32-year-old opponent coming straight to him. Well, this is, right now, this is grunt warfare. This guy right in front of each other, just reaching down, trying for a little bit more, trying to win via attrition. Three good shots by Russell, then an uppercut, nice uppercut by Russell. Here's another opportunity for him. Nice wide hook 
by Russell. Good right hand by Escondon. with the uppercuts as he was able to dodge the shots first. We come up on the halfway point of this one. So they were in tight with the head being pushed down Punch is going to go low. When you push your opponent's head down, you're going to receive a low blow. But Russell didn't see it that way. He figured it was just a low blow. He responded with going high. Uppercut, good uppercut. And then getting the power into his shots. Look at all the power being generated through those hips. You choose, man. All right, the second half of this one underway, Gary Russell Jr. and Oscar Escondone. Talked last round about the gradual pace, guys' grunt warfare. In Russell's corner, they said, damage is being done, don't worry about it, keep on that track. And some good explosiveness from Russell. And that one hurt Escondon, that last right hook to the temple area. Can Escondon survive this? No, he can't. He has stopped for the first time in his career. And in that respect, the momentous achievement for Gary Russell Jr. Right hook to the temple area with everything on it. Devoured his smaller foe. And the Gary chant of the crowd. Not only loved the result, but how they got it. Which was a knockout. Technical knockout, this will be. This condone has never been stopped. Coming up to 126. He is stopped for the first time. Successful defense number two for Russell. And he call out Santa Cruz. Will he call out Abner Mottos? Gary Russell Jr. Escondon got off the 
away from the verdict once, but could not beat the rap a second time. Look at look. Russell with the big right. This is to the Temple area, the equilibrium shot. And referee Harvey Dock immediately sees the face and the reaction on Escondone, who believes here he can defend himself, but his body language betrays him. That's the shot, the right hook to the temple. That's the one that changed everything. See how the legs are wobbling? Now, you might be okay a minute or so from then, but at that moment, you're in that window of weakness, and that's what the referee is there for. Take a look. Coming in, Russell backing up and lines up that shot. That's what happens when you come straight at your opponent. You give him room to maneuver. And here, like you're drunk. But in this case, you're in trouble as well. Referee reads the language correctly and stops it. It doesn't matter if you're fine, even a few seconds after that. During that window when the referee is evaluating you, that's when they make the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 59 seconds in round number seven. A referee in charge, Harvey Dock, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still the WBC featherweight champion of the world, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Yes, indeed he is still the champion. So. Escondone's family, his son crying when this occurred. The emotions of boxing on a family level. So the verdict is announced. Now we'll get to hear from the fighter. All right, Mo, thank you very much. Gary, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you, Oscar, you okay? Okay, beautiful. How would you assess your performance? Looked very impressive to all of us. First and foremost, I gotta say happy birthday to my father. Happy birthday, Dad, they were just singing to you. Secondly, to all the fans that came out to come and support me, I love y'all. I want, I want also, to apologize to one of the gladiators, you know, for the gladiators, you know, with the incident that occurred earlier in the derail camp. Y'all have to understand that we are definitely warriors and we are gladiators. So sometimes the emotions build up and get the best of us. So please, 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 um, I apologize for the incident that occurred. Secondly, man, we grateful. The question about your performance, how would you assess it? Um, it was a good performance. I fought a very, very, very tough competitor. You know, he's a warrior, we, he's definitely a gladiator. I knew he was gonna come and bring his physical best. It was my job and my objective to be able to make the necessary adjustments, to stay in close. I know he was gonna try to smother my speed, so he wanted to be versatile and show that we did have somewhat of an inside game. We executed that, I'm grateful. Let's take a look here at the stoppage, and, and I spoke to Harvey Doc. And Harvey said he just did not like the way that Oscar was looking right there and didn't feel that he should take any more punish punishment. What's going on right here? Um, definitely. You know, we're warriors. We're warriors. And I know that he wanted to continue to push for the duration of the fight. You know, it's the referees. It's up to the referee's discretion to protect the fighters at all times. That's what he felt as though he needed to do. I'm grateful for that as well. All right, this is such a deep division, and you have said you would like to unify the titles. Does that mean you would like, and you've spoken about it on many occasions, Lomachenko once again? Of course, that's a no-brainer. You know, that's something that I don't want to do for the fans. I don't want to do it for the media. That's something I want to do personally for myself. So before the end of my career, he definitely got to see me. As far as now... Twice. Yeah, twice, because I, I knock him out the first time, I'm gonna have to do it again. Will you instruct Al Heyman and your camp to pursue that and pursue nothing else. 
Um, as of now, that's honestly not what we want to do. I want to end my career with Mr. Lomachenko. I would want that to be one of my last fights of my career. Um, I, at first, I would love to unify against any of the other champions in the featherweight division, Lee Solsby, uh, Abner Mars, and what's the other guy? Leo Rampton, Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz. They're going to fight, probably. Yeah, probably. I, I would love to. If we don't get a unification bout, then I immediately plan on moving up and weight challenging the, WB, the WBC champion in the next weight class. It's time to bully around these bigger guys.